I always look for ideas to build my next boat. I can find many interesting designs in the crowdfunding sites, such as uh, Kickstarter and Indiegogo. This hyper kayak appeared on Indiegogo in May 2017, caught my attention. It appeared to be a very nicely designed kayak, and I built one modeled after its hull shape. Unfortunately, the company couldn't deliver the boat, and many supporters are wondering when they will receive their kayaks. It has been almost six years. Many proposed projects did not receive funding. However, there are also many successful campaigns. The notable ones are ORU's kayaks. This ORU inlet inspired me to build my Gen 9 Plus floating kayak. This month, my canoe has a campaign on Kickstarter. This is a reputable company and they have been shipping their products for many years. Before I go further, this is my disclaimer. If you find this video interesting, please give me a like. Help me to promote the channel. I appreciate that. This canoe is nine and a half feet long, and I don't need to get the water access permit in Oregon. It is 31 inches wide and should be very stable. It can handle 300 pounds. The folded size for transportation is very similar to ORU's inlet. And assembly time is also very similar. I missed the time frame to get this canoe at $469. But at $489, it is still a reasonable price. This canoe actually inspired me to build a similar one last year, and I spent around $80. I modified the design to seat two people because I removed many plastic trimmings found on the solo canoe and my canoe weighs at 19 pounds for two people which is similar to the weight of the solo canoe I do like the portability and the stability of the canoe I also like to sit up higher than a kayak you can find more details in how I built this canoe on my YouTube channel if you find this video interesting, please give me a like. Help me to promote the channel. I appreciate that. Please subscribe. And there are many other interesting videos on my channel. And hope to see you again. Bye-bye.